Please come, please come. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, good afternoon, Mr. Daniel. Please sit down. Please, sir. Thank you, sir. How are you, Mr. Daniel? I'm good, sir. Thank you. How are you, sir? Fine, fine. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Mr. Daniel, you are from Hazur. Yes, sir. Uh, Hazur, previously, it is part of the combined Darumri district. Yes, sir. Darumri district is generally considered to be a backward district. Yes, sir. But Hazur is an exception. Yes. It is a very good developed industrial hub. Yes, sir. What made a Hosur as an exception, uh, Mr. Daniel? What is the reason that it separately developed? Sir, uh, apart from the government policies such as Epcot, we have uh, uh, proximity to Bangalore, uh, which is acting as a main attraction for the industrialists. And Hosur has emerged as a satellite town for Bangalore. And... Uh, also, it is part of both uh, National Highway 44 and 48, sir. So, it has attracted many industrialists to establish their uh, industries here. And also, its climatic conditions could also be another factor, sir. Good. Good. And you have mentioned your uh, extracurricular activities as CrossFit and calisthenics. Yes. Uh, both are similar or opposite? Sir, uh, CrossFit. Uh, includes both strength training and uh, some part of gymnastics. Uh, also, it includes some aerobic exercise as well. But calisthenics particularly focus on body weight training. And uh, I, though I have uh, trained in strength training and I have built my muscles, but I found myself to be a uh, little uh, inadequate when it comes to using my body strength. So I have started calisthenics training. Are you into animal movement? Uh exercises no sir not yet okay. what is the difference between uh, steady state cardio and hiit sir uh, steady state cardio is where we uh, maintain the momentum whereas in hiit we perform high intensity training and take adequate intervals before repeating the same high intensity exercises so which is good for fat loss sir both are suggested, but with, with uh, HIIT, we can uh, see more fat loss quicker, sir. How come? Because we are putting our body into stress and then giving a little interval and immediately putting an, an, uh, stress another time. So our fat gets uh, utilized. So it's because of the higher intensity? Yes, sir. Of volume of training that you're doing? I'm sorry? Higher intensity of the volume of training that you're doing? Intensity in exercise, volume, uh, it, it, does, it is meaning uh, <clears throat> in HIIT, there is also this Tabata. HIIT, right? Uh, there is something called as Tabata okay. in HIIT. Thank you. It is uh, a way in which you do your HIIT so that uh, you are pushing your body, you are keeping your body burning as much calories as possible for an intensive period, yes, maybe a short while, maybe 10 20 minutes. Yes, but they say that it is much more effective than doing a one hour long steady state cardio like a treadmill. Okay, sir. So that's what I wanted to know. Okay. The differences. Thank you, sir. Um, so Daniel, uh, uh, do you know what is uh, body waste, uh, child wasting? Child wasting. The term child wasting. I'll give you a clue. Yes, it is related to body weight since you are very much interested in body weight and all. It is related to body weight. Sir, yes, sir. Uh, child wasting is when the child is uh, not having adequate body weight for their age. Under 5, I'm not sure, sir, that criteria. You are right. You are right. Good. And yes, uh, child wasting uh, is uh, uh, on talk recently. Yes, sir. Why? A report came recently. Child wasting is one among the major uh, reasons. Uh, matter of concern for our country. Can you please elaborate? Yes, sir. Sir, uh, because of this lack of nutrition and uh, the child wasting, the potential human capital that we, we might have, the country might have, and reap the benefits from the human capital itself is getting affected. And uh, this puts the child and the family into perpetual poverty trap, wherein they are not getting educated and then they are not able to find suitable employment and then they are not able to uh, move the uh, move in the social ladder 
and I think this is the reason why it is in use, sir. Reason for migrating from civil engineering to social work? Sir, uh, before I enrolled into social work, I had already given an interview <laughs> in UPSC. And uh, when I was in Rotaract uh, during my college, I got the opportunity to interact with uh, social work professionals. And uh, I had uh, um, been part of their team in uh, organizing few community service projects. So I was able to see the work that they can bring in the society, sir. So I enrolled into that social work. You won some award in 2015. What was it for? For some community service project. Yes, sir. That, that was part of Rotaract. What was uh, the project? That was project called Vidai Pom, uh, where we adopted two schools, the our club. We went there and stayed there and uh, uh, we got sponsors and we renovated the school ourselves and uh, we celebrated Independence Day with the school children. So that was uh, awarded as the best project that year, sir. Okay. okay. Daniel, uh, you are from Dharma, you know? Uh, I mean, Dharmaburi district. Your father is from Dharmaburi district. Yes. He's just by Dharmaburi district. Yes, sir. Krishna, you are asking why for Yes, okay. sir. What is the historical name of Dharmaburi? Sir, uh, the historical name is Tagadur, sir. Hmm. Tagadur. Who ruled Tagadur in Sangam age? During Sangam age. May, may I guess, sir, with your permission? Yes. Sir, uh, Adhiman. Yes. He ruled. What is full name? Adhiman is a clan name. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, sir. I don't know. Okay. Have you heard about Tagadur Yatra? A book name? I'm sorry, sir. I, I have not heard of it. Okay. Being it's a more drought <coughs> district, what exactly the main agricultural activities there? Um, in Dharmapuri? Yes. Uh, yeah, Dharmapuri means Krishna is a integral part of Dharmapuri previously. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, in Dharmapuri, the present Dharmapuri district yes. uh, is uh, number one when it comes to horticulture, sir. What crop? Uh, that I am not sure of. Mm. Uh, but it has emerged as a horticulture club mm. uh, hub despite being a drought prone region. Mm. Um, but uh, as a whole, the previous Dharmapuri, it was also when Krishnagiri was included, mm. there were many agricultural. Uh, Activities going on. What many? Sir, uh, sir, ragi cultivation is good in the district. Hmm. Um, groundnut is also uh, popular, but hmm. I'm not sure of the other crops. Sir. Are you not aware of mango cultivation there? Hmm? It's the talk. Since we, we hmm. talked about Fine. agriculture, yes. okay. So I am just asking one question. Yes, sir. See, certain section of the people, uh, in fact, some states, that always have a grievance that we are contributing more to the center, but center is giving back less. What is your view on that? Sir, uh, we are a country with uh, many uh, different types and many different states, mm -hmm. and uh, we have different needs uh, from the across the length and breadth of the country. And the government of India has the uh, mandate to ensure that all the region are getting adequate resources. Uh, it is true that some states feel that they're, they're uh, giving more taxes, but they're receiving less. But uh, there are more backward regions that need more attention and- uh, In a particular state itself, there are backward regions. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So how do you subscribe that, that view? Yes, sir. We are not fully developed. Uh, any no state is fully developed, mm. but some states are more underdeveloped than the other states. For example, in the northeast region, is more underdeveloped than some districts of Tamil Nadu. So the focus at present is to uh, increase the overall development in the states, those uh, needy states, than the comparatively developed states. That is why this is happening, sir. You know about Operation Flood? Yes, sir. What is that? Um, Operation Flood uh, is related to increasing the milk production in the country. Who were the main pillar behind that Operation Flood scheme? Who was the person? 
sir i'm uh, present remembering the second name but i'm not able to recall the first name sir tell me mr vagis full tell me yes you are correct korean vagis yes Thank okay, you, sir. fine. Uh, Daniel, you studied in this MGR Education Research Institute, University, Chennai. Yes, sir. When you hear the name in MGR, which contribution of Mr. MGR comes to my mind? You are my mind first. Yes, sir. When you hear MGR, ah, he did this. What is his con best contribution as per your opinion? No issues. If you don't know, you can say no, don't know. Huh? I don't know. So oh. I am uh, I'm not getting uh, the schemes uh, in a... Fine, fine. Okay. No issues. Yes, no issues. Right. And your, your mother is a serving sub-inspector of police? Yes, sir. Right. So your mother is uh, from a uniform service. Uh, why don't you have IPS as a first choice instead of IAS? What is the reason? Um, Sir, uh, IPS is a very contributory service to the country and I have huge respects for police service. Uh, that is why I have put IPS in the top five services of my preferences. Um, but sir, my uh, understanding and my experience with the community service projects has uh, uh, in a way molded my interest towards uh, Indian administrative service for its uh, diversity in um, services and the uh, ability to be directly part of uh, different developmental projects. That is the reason, sir. I'll give a situation question to you now. You are now the Prime Minister of the Prime Minister of India. Okay. What would be your top five priority issues which you would focus on? If not five, say one or two. Yes, sir. I'll, I'll explain. Sir, uh, if I am made a Prime Minister, I would uh, focus uh, on the following issues. First would be to improve the economy as such. We are having a slowdown and uh, I would give attention towards economy. Second would be to uh, focus on the infrastructural projects. Uh, which the Prime Minister is already doing. The third would be to enhance the trust between different states and increase the engagement between different uh, states and their uh, residents. Fourth would be to uh, ensure that the neighborhood countries develop more trust uh, with India. And fifth would be to increase the attention or uh, increase the awareness about fitness among the youth of the country, sir. And focus on uh, uh, reduction in the drug abuse and alcoholism. I See, don't, yes, sir. You're asking about, you know, that uh, develop more trust of the neighborhood. Do you think that we don't have, we have not gained the trust of neighborhood? Sir, uh, through policies like Gujarat Doctrine and uh, Neighborhood First Policy, mm -hmm. we have definitely gained upper ground. Mm -hmm. But uh, China is also a major factor when it comes to um, um, competing with us, uh, when it comes to engaging with the neighbors. Uh, we are seeing all our neighbors uh, having, um, their, uh, giving their projects to China, getting more uh, loans from China. And uh, they have also jo joined the better tourism. China is present everywhere, not only in our neighborhood. China is all pervasive. They are present in Africa, they are present in Latin America. What so specific about our neighborhood? How we are concerned about it? Yes, sir. Sir, uh, um, around 90% of our trade happens in Indian Ocean region. And with China being present in our neighborhood, it affects our uh, trade aspects and also our security aspects. So this is why we need to focus more on uh, uh, increasing our trust when it comes to neighborhoods. How to go about it? What, do, what would be your suggestions? What do you think we should do to gain more trust of our neighborhood? Sir, uh, one will be uh, following the punch shield policies and not interfering in their internal affairs, which we are already doing. 
second is being the first responder when they are facing some disaster uh, again we are doing that wonderfully recently our foreign minister uh, visited uh, sri lanka and extended support uh, to get loan from imf and uh, similarly we are uh, helping nepal bhutan and also bangladesh so in this way we are gaining the trust we should continue doing that yeah so you were listing five things that you would do if you were the prime minister i didn't notice education or healthcare in that list is there any reason why you didn't include that or it just didn't occur to you yes sir <clears throat> at that point i was not able to think about it sir okay but i will definitely if i am a prime minister i will focus on that area also okay okay fine your uh, hometown is hosur yes sir and uh, that's very close to karnataka yes and i am sure that uh, you know how prox like the proximity <coughs> yes sir proximity there is actually uh, going to put you in the scene where a lot of interstate clashes could happen yes. because of kaveri issue yes you know that so what do you think is the solution for this issue sir uh, the the solution from the most important solution or the most uh, the solution that could work better is incre- increasing the communication between the people of both the sides um, the main uh, reason is lack of trust deficit that happens because of language barrier mm-hmm. and um, also some politicians take advantage of this and create unnecessary tensions so if we increase the communication and if we have some setup to or some kind of body where uh, uh, people from both the states living in the border areas uh, sit and talk exchange their opinions we can solve this uh, issue sir so uh, if you look at the core of the uh, kaveri river water issue uh, one, there are multiple <coughs> phases to it multiple dimensions to it yes sir you can say that uh, maybe the kind of cultivation that goes on in the kaveri basin could be contributing to this crisis so would you advocate any other change in the cropping pattern in these two states yes sir um, sir uh, one of the suggestion would be to improve uh, our cultivation of millets and pulses in the kaveri belt uh, because we see mostly only paddy is being cultivated if we go towards that less water intensive crops we might be able to consume less and uh, i'm not sure of the agriculture pattern in the karnataka mm-hmm. so we can do this with respect to tamil nadu okay okay what is your uh, opinion about uh, bt crops sir uh, bt crops uh, have potential to help us in tackling the food security problem uh, india has good amount of food grains and we are able to meet our needs but in case in future uh, if you are not able to have india or the world as a whole bt crops can be a probable solution in handling uh, or in preventing the food security crisis but it has to be tested well and uh, then after proper approval we can uh, go ahead with the bt crop which is the organization that approves it Mm, sir <coughs> geac i'm not uh, to which ministry does it uh, come under it comes under ministry of environment sir. okay how do we cultivate any bt crops today in india yes sir bt okay. cotton is uh, already being cultivated mm-hmm. and uh, i'm not able to recall others is there any other crop that is already uh, <coughs> developed as a bt crop but not yet cultivated in india waiting for approval right now so the british brinjal has been uh, developed but mm. i am not sure of the approval status sir mm. is it only bt brinjal mm. any other crop i'm sorry sir i don't know okay okay daniel you said uh, uh, working on the economy is yes. your first priority yes sir. if you become the prime minister Yes. Sir. Are we moving towards a decision? And what steps would you take if you were the prime minister to avoid a large-scale layoff <coughs> or uh, affect to the economy? Sir, uh, various international bodies such as uh, IMF, recently World Economic Forum also had predicted that there might be a recession 
that could uh, occur in the globe today uh, this year but uh, when it comes to india india is the fastest uh, growing major economy in the world and our economy is uh, somewhat decoupled from the global economy we always have been resilient even when the global financial crisis happened we were growing so uh, i think india may escape the recession that could happen this year and the <coughs> if i am a prime minister uh, i'm sorry i forgot the question is it okay uh, if you are the prime minister what steps would you uh, advocate to avoid a recession yes sir the effects of a recession sir uh, one is uh, to to avoid the recession one is to make the supply chain uh, more resilient <laughs> to the challenges uh, one uh, we are already doing uh, this with respect to our uh, main in- input good that is the crude oil uh, mm-hmm. we have ensured getting cheap uh, crude oil from russia and uh, this is one way to avoid uh, the recession and second is um uh, we can reduce the tax burden on the people uh, and uh, help them to cope up with the inflation <coughs> would you go for a tighter monetary policy or a looser monetary policy considering inflation is also very high i'm sorry sir i am not able to think of it okay i have also observed that you have been part of uh, a guinness record event of yep. uh, world's largest human national flag yes sir uh, recently uh, all over india we celebrated the har ghar tiranga yes sir uh, movement do you think it is jingoism or patriotism sir uh, as as i said in another answer we are a very big country and with a huge diversity and uh, people uh, most of the people have not met uh, people from another state so but the one thing that uh, people will be able to relate is the flag apart from national anthem so this flag is definitely one way this tiranga event is one way to help, remind people about our uh, country and uh, remind them of the diversity and i think it is a patriotism event not jingoism no. Daniel this uh, your option is political science and international relations yes sir what do you think about india's stand in the russia ukraine war do you think it is correct or wrong sir uh, india's stand uh, with respect to the conflict is correct and well calculated decision sir uh, if we see uh, the uh, countries that had taken a stand or Uh, going through multiple problems but india was able to avoid the consequence of uh, the probable sanctions on russia or india was able to have this matured stand of uh, pushing both the countries for a solution but at the same time was engaging with russia for our own national interest so i think india has, has taken the right decision sir right thank, thank you. you thank yeah. you can thank you sir wait thank out sir for some time okay. thank you sir <laughs> Sir, please come. Yeah, please. Well done, Daniel. Thank you, sir. Uh, you have done very well. Thank you, sir. Uh, particularly, uh, you are very balanced. Thank you, sir. Physically, mentally, and uh, your way of presentation, all were very balanced. Thank you. Sir. You look uh, confident. Then uh, your eye contact was uh, very good. Thank you. Sir. Then, um, then whenever. you don't know the answer yes, sir. you just once asked may i uh, make a guess with your permission that was good Thank you, sir. Uh, um, more or less your attitude uh, your way of answering it shows your honesty by not pretending uh, when you don't know you said don't know and when 
you wanted to ask permission, you asked permission. That was, these are uh, very good things. Thank you. Uh, some of the areas uh, uh, which we would like you to improve, just to point out, sure. you can brush up those things. Your uh, information about your native district, yes. that needs improvement. Sure. Uh, particularly when you asked about Adiyaman and the crop, mango is a very prominent crop uh, in uh, this one. Uh, those things need a little bit of uh, brushing up. Sure, sir. Uh, then current affairs also, uh, you have to improve a little bit. Okay, your uh, knowledge of current affairs, like uh, BT crops, okay. what he When you don't know the answer, say don't know. Okay, don't give long pause, like for MGR. Yes. It didn't c c c come to your mind. Yes, sir. Uh, you were sitting idle, you were thinking for a long time. Okay. That can be avoided. Another thing, this when he asked about a, a hypothetical question that you are the Prime Minister of India. Yes, sir. You are framing the answer. Yes, sir. Is it not? Then you were sitting idle for quite a long time. It gives the impression to the board that you are not aware of the answer or you are not able to uh, answer um, uh, immediately. In such situation, you can say, um, thank you, sir. Uh, can I take a minute with your permission uh, to prioritize my, when he says five, yes. there may be too many things. You, you are taking time to prioritize those uh, points. Okay. In such a situation, you can just inform, um, may I take a minute, sir, with your permission to frame and prioritize my, my, my answer. That will give a good impression that um, uh, you are uh, approaching it very systematically. Uh, you are not um, answering immediately without uh, framing your answer. That is a positive indication okay. if you say so. Okay. Sure, sir. I will work on that. Then, then you are uh, sh shave also. Uh, yes, sir. I, I Nowadays, they shave, uh, yes, sir. make it uh, clean shaved and uh, uh, look. You can in, uh, improve. Yeah, that, okay. Yes, sir, I work that. When okay. answering situation questions like when you are uh, saying those five points, uh, for every point you were saying which the prime minister is already doing, which the prime minister is already doing, that yes, need not be said. Said. Okay. Sir. Like you are the prime minister, so what would you? Do? All right, sir. I will take that. Another up. thing. One point I noticed when he asked about this uh, economic recession. Uh, in the midway, you forgot the question. That is wrong. <laughs> yes, you told sorry, I forgot the question. <laughs> Which means uh, you are answering without understanding the question. Okay. You know, it will give that impression. So first, you know, uh, you have to think your answer in such a way that, you know, within brief time, you have to articulate that. Yes, sir. Because the board is, your board is going to give only 25 to 30 minutes to you. Yes, sir. So this is the important part of your life. You have to capitalize that. Definitely. Okay. Yes, sir. So, uh, I mean, like Sar said, you have to practice on your own because you have to do too, too much of time. Uh, regularly, you uh, sit yourself and synthesize your questions in such a way that what, what will be the probable questions. You jot down that. Yes, sir. You write your answer. Fine tune that. Speaks well before the mirror, you know, those things will help you. Okay. Sir. Okay. I'll, I'll work. Yeah. Sir. Thank you. All Thank the you, best. All the best. Thank, Thank you. Sir. Yeah. No, no, sir. Okay. I think they don't allow the pen, sir. Like the, see, the CISO personnel, they remove the pen. So we are not allowed to carry any metal. No, they will actually in our time they used to keep one uh, notebook with pen. Mm -hmm. and they will keep there. Uh -huh. That is there, sir. Pencil and the paper is there. They will they will uh -huh. keep there. They'll provide. Okay. 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 Thank you, sir. All the best. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.